well you sent out another cool product of theirs for my unbiased review and it is the o2 ring powered by viatom technology which measures your dynamic heart rate blood oxygen and it can be used for home sleep test for sleep apnea guys you're watching which tube and if it's your first time here thank you so much for clicking here is our review smart watches smartphones smart tech like this o2 ring and much more so if you're into tech you must consider subscribing everything is time coded along the video timeline for your ease of viewing let's start with price and unboxing this o2 ring is listed on amazon for only 180 us dollar at the time of filming this video and the price may vary at seller's discretion check out the links in the video description for direct link to this product and any discount it came in a box like this one inside the box it's the user manual which is pretty concise and you can pause the video to read through the specs there is a one year warranty card and their contact informations. Moving on, it's the O2 ring itself, which we will come back to it in a second. The last content of the box is the USB type A to micro USB charging and data transfer cable. During this video, I'll show you guys how to transfer readings from this O2 ring to a smartphone via Bluetooth or to a PC via this cable. Now in terms of design, the ring itself is very tiny with a display on top encased in the ring. At the back there are few details. The two sensors are located on the side of the ring. One is a light emitting diode and the other sensor that absorbs the light is on the other side. The ring is quite flexible and it would easily fit any finger as this flap at the bottom helps to achieve that. Let's go ahead and remove the screen protector. At the back there is a micro USB charging port. Let's go ahead and put it on my index finger. It starts instantly with a vibration and starts taking a reading of the blood oxygen and the heart rate. And it's pretty quick at measurement. Now let's see if it fits on my thumb and it does fit quite well. This ring does not feel bulky at all. In fact, it's only 14.4 grams. You barely feel it on your finger. For perspective, my wedding ring is 10.15 grams. I have used this ring on my finger for a few nights and I barely notice it. The only thing I would point out is that it's easy to get scratches on the display if you toss around too much and slam it on the headboard of the bed or so. Also, it's not waterproof. It has an IP rating of 24. There are temperature, humidity and atmospheric pressure limitation. Read the user manual for more details. Now let's test its reading out against a finger oximeter. Let me start with the index finger on my right hand. And you can see it's pretty close for both SpO2 and heart rate readings. Now let's check it on the left side index finger. Again, you can see it's pretty close. Now, as soon as you take it off after wearing it for a few minutes, a 10 second countdown timer will start. And at the very end, the reading will be stored. This O2 ring can store four readings after which the new reading will override the first one. Speaking of readings, let's talk about how to transfer readings and setting this device up with a smartphone. So you have to download the vHealth app which is available for free on both Apple App Store and Android Play Store. Once the app is installed, the app will start searching for any nearby Bluetooth device. And the O2 ring should pop up and that is it. You don't have to go in the Bluetooth settings of the phone to pair it up. It's all done right from this app. You can also use a PC to transfer readings. In that case, you have to download the PC or Mac software available for free to download from their website, linked in the video description. Make sure you download the O2 Insight Pro as it is for the O2 Ring. Once installed, just open the app. Plug in the cable. Now it's hard to discern what to do from the app once you have connected this O2 Ring. Go ahead and click the download button on the top left and it will start downloading the stored readings. After which you can either print, edit, save as a PDF or export as CSV. For my personal use, I find that the data from the PC is easier to read and navigate. In case if you want to fill up all your details before exporting, click the option button to fill up all your details. Now, 
If you have their premium subscription, you can download the data from the cloud by entering your login credential from here. Now let me briefly show you the mobile vHealth app. It's also very user friendly and easy to navigate with few settings that you can only access from the mobile app. Once you open up the app, you will have history, dashboard, setting and discover where discover is basically your account with value. And you can also subscribe to their online backup plan starting with $279 Canadian dollar a month. Under settings, you can set SPO to reminders like reminder on device and dashboard. And more importantly, you can set your SPO to threshold ranging from 95% to the lowest of 80%. If your SPO2 is dropping below 80% consistently, you must be with your doctor instead of using such devices. There are pulse rate reminders too with a low and a high pulse rate threshold. Keep in mind these are resting heart rate threshold. So if you were to hit the threshold of either the SPO2 or the pulse rate, this tiny ring will vibrate. Speaking of vibration, this ring has a strong vibration motor inside. You can adjust the vibration intensity and boy, I can't tolerate the very strong. For me, even strong is very strong and it easily wakes me up. So I can assure with very strong, it will wake you up irrespective to how insensitive your finger is. From settings, you can also adjust device offline reminders, screen mode, screen brightness, factory reset this device and update the firmware of the device. With Apple, I do get an option to sync the data with Apple Health. That's very good. Guys, if you made it this far in the video, I thank you so much for sticking around. Make sure to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. Come on guys, it won't cost you a dime and in doing so, you will never miss out such awesome videos. Now, going back under dashboard, it will show the real-time SPO2 and pulse rate data along with the battery level of the device. Finally, under history, you'll find all your readings. Before I dive into reading, let me briefly explain you why you should use this O2 ring over a finger oximeter. So a finger oximeter is for one time SpO2 or heart rate reading, and it cannot be used for sleep test or sleep monitoring as it can easily fall off. Versus this O2 ring can do both real time SpO2 and heart rate reading and more importantly for nighttime monitoring as it's a ring and it does not fall off plus it does continuous monitoring and more importantly it stores the entire reading for the whole night including SpO2, heart rate and motion data. So if you are someone who has sleep disorder you can use this O2 ring for home based sleep test. Certainly, I don't recommend this to replace a medical sleep test or study despite of the O2 ring being FDA approved. Nonetheless, the reading of this O2 ring can be a great value to your doctor. With that said, let's talk about the reading that I took while using this device for past few nights and wrap this video up with my final say. This device is not meant for taking exercise reading as the sensors move excessively during exercises. But I did take it for an evening walk and you can see the SpO2 stayed in the green zone. But there were a few drops which could be flawed as there was excessive movement which is apparent from the motions tab. Now thankfully you can zoom in or out the reading using the pinch zoom. But this pinch zoom does not work if you were to export the reading as CSV, picture or binary. And that's why as shown earlier, I like the export feature of the PC app. Anyways, now let's have a look at one of the night's sleep data. And you can see on the top that the recording time was 6 hours 18 minutes. That's how much I slept, where there were 44 drops which accounts for 4%. Average SpO2 was 95%. O2 score is a good quantifiable measure for this whole data, which as you can see is under the green zone. Average heart rate was 71. You can add custom notes before exporting it to share it with your healthcare provider. It also shows that the SpO2 stayed below 90% for 4 minutes 20 seconds with 7 drops per hour. And the lowest SpO2 was 84%. And since I have 88% as the threshold, the watch did vibrate quite strong to wake me up and change position. You can zoom into the drops as the drops are precisely marked. My heart rate stayed under the threshold. Maybe I didn't have any crazy dreams in my REM sleep. 
and you can also see this motion data which is showing the time when I moved which does correspond to the heart rate spikes and that could be because of the REM sleep dreams. So as you saw this data can be of a great value to people who are trying to self monitor their sleep. Even I did not know my SpO2 where to drop this low during sleep. This O2 ring can also be of a great resource to monitor the efficacy of uh, any therapeutic intervention to track the difference before and after. I don't snore or gasp but you would hear that from your partner and in that case this O2 ring can be a great adjunct to any medical intervention or for self monitoring. So here is my final verdict. This O2 ring is truly an innovative way for sleep monitoring, sleep study and even effectively track the efficacy of a therapeutic intervention. The data from this O2 ring is very easy to interpret and for more details you can export the detailed version to be shared with your healthcare provider. This O2 ring is worth the price with the technology it has. With the Bluetooth you can wirelessly transfer reading onto your smartphone app. The overall design and fitting is quite robust. My favorite part is the display which does show you your SpO2, heart rate and a nice animation of a beating heart and it even shows you the time. It gives you indication when it's in data transfer mode or charging. It can easily store 4 nights worth of reading and this tiny little ring has a battery life of up to 12 hours of continuous usage and only takes 2-3 to three hours to fully charge. The mobile app is very versatile and easy to navigate. So overall I can definitely recommend this O2 ring and you will see this O2 ring in my upcoming videos for smartwatches, heart rate, SpO2 and sleep tracking data comparison. So that's about it. Give this video a thumbs up and check out these videos as you will enjoy them as you did with this one. Catch you guys in the next one.